All right, so I have an idea for my girlfriend's birthday gift. It's actually right here. It's a mini fridge. She needed one, but I kind of want to make it a little special because, I mean, it's just a mini fridge. So my idea is that she really likes Harry Potter. So I want to try to spray paint this in a Harry Potter theme. I've never really done anything like this before. So that's why I'm recording it. And depending on if it goes well or not, this will be an actual video. First, all I'm going to do is open up the box, get the mini fridge out, put it on that table, and then we'll get the paints ready. Okay, so I just got the fridge out of the box. I just gotta finish taking all this little stuff off, like the tape and foam or whatever. But it actually came with this little stand. So I'm actually gonna use that to my advantage and just leave it on there. I guess the more elevated it is, the easier it is to paint towards the bottom. So after I move all this stuff, I'm gonna wipe it down with alcohol and then I can get painting. I actually took the door off and the seal. Um, the seal's over there, the door is on that chair. Um, I think that'll just make it a little bit easier to work on. I also took off the hinge so now I can get full coverage over there. So now all I gotta do is just mask off this whole front facing so I don't get any paint in there. In the back, because definitely don't wanna get paint over there. All right, so I have the front masked off. That was actually kind of a pain in the ass. In the back, all I used was masking tape and this like masking paper stuff. Um, it's pretty much just like newspaper that you can just use instead of wasting a bunch of tape. So now I think I'm ready to do the first coat. You can see all the paints that I got here. I got this brand to go as the main coat, espresso. And then for accents, I have warm caramel. So I'm hoping that these two will kind of look like a Harry Potter chest. Um, here you can see all the house colors. So I got like a satin green for Slytherin, yellow for Hufflepuff, red for Gryffindor, and blue for Ravenclaw. I also got this like glittery gold um, I want to try to do a Harry Potter logo on that. I feel like that'll look cool. And then just satin clear coat. So I'm going to start with this and we're going to do the first coat. All right, let's go. So I know you don't want to go too heavy in the first coat. I'm just going to try to get as much coverage as I can without going too crazy. Edge. Oof, just in the air. All right, so we'll let this dry and then do another coat. All right, coat number two. So I know you can go a little heavier. I'm just stay far back to make sure I don't get any runs. Update off camera, I also have the door going, so that is now brown. All right, so now that the base coat is done on both the actual fridge and the door, I took the time to painstakingly hand cut this little template thingy that I'm actually gonna end up gluing on here at the end. All I did was put masking tape to a 90 degree angle right in the middle. And basically this section is just gonna have a little bit of red to represent Gryffindor. It's gonna fill in this line and just kind of like abstract like just i don't know paint splatter all over there too it's not gonna be like perfectly in the lines it's just gonna be kind of cool so i'm gonna have to do that for all four of the houses there we go apple red the paint splatter is just kind of going all over just like that this is what i did so far i think it looks pretty cool um i went a little heavier in the middle and then kind of spread it out towards the edges. And then I put some on my finger with a glove on, but <laughs> still got some on my finger. Um, sprayed paint directly on my fingertips and just sprayed it on like that. And now I have those little paint splatters. So now I just gotta wait for that side to dry and then I can move on to the other three. I'm actually gonna take the satin clear coat and just go over this whole fridge because there's nothing else that I'm gonna be doing on this. And so I have the crest in the caramel color along with the hinge. Um, I also did the Slytherin section of the crest, so Gryffindor is done, Slytherin is now drying. And I have a few clear coats on the actual fridge. Um, it's still a little wet, so I can see the patterning and whatever on top, but yeah, it's coming along. Oh, just finished, just drying. I did both sides of the hinge cover, and the whole crest has now got all the glitter paint on it too, so almost done. So in the meantime, since everything else is drying, I'm just going to take off this because the main fridge part is done. Perfect. Nice. 
All right, so the last section is Hufflepuff. Get this general section done. All right, so that's fully covered. And then for the paint splatter, I just spray my fingers. And then I just pull it out. Cool. Okay, so I'm just doing one more coat of the gold glitter on here. I want to make sure this is really gold. All right. I am pretty much on the second to last step. I have the whole front face masked off. Now I just got to paint the kind of handle, I guess you could say. It's kind of a bezel and a handle at the same time there and the bottom side. So I'm just going to do that in the warm caramel. So the bezels are painted. Um, they're just drying, but you can see everything in there is covered. Same thing for the bottom. Just letting that dry. Then I can remove all the masking tape, throw on that logo, which actually has the adhesive curing on it. And once everything is put together, I can then do the final clear coat on the whole door. All right, so this is it before the crest. I think it looks really good. Um, I'm just actually pulling this masking tape. But I'd get some cool, satisfying unmasking on camera. This tape was actually really good. It's called the, I don't know, the Scotch Blue uh, Straight Edge. So I guess the edges are a little better than the normal stuff. Um, a little sharper, I guess, because these lines are perfect. So yeah, you can see the contrast. I think it looks really good. It's kind of got a Louis Vuitton vibe too to it with the, uh, the tan and the brown, but yeah, so that's how it is right now. All I gotta do is just slap the crest on. Here it is with the crest on. I'm not gonna lie, it looks so good. I am so excited. Now all I gotta do is just put it together. Or actually, I gotta do the clear coat still, but after that, I'll put it together and show you the final result. All right, so I actually put the fridge together. It is the next day, you can see the change. I wanted to let the fridge dry completely overnight um, before I bothered to put it together, just to make sure I didn't get any smudges or anything. But yeah, it's done and it looks great. So here it is.